Building on the capabilities unlocked with MCP, we're going to create a glossary and the terms under it using the MCP server and Claude integration. We'll start by looking in our governance section and we see there is no glossary currently defined. So let's switch to Claude and ask it to create an e-commerce glossary. This is going to see if there's an existing glossary and it's going to see that there isn't one, so it will create one and try to add relevant terms based on the context it has. We want to let this have access. Every once in a while you get that prompt. So we see it's creating some glossary terms here. Nice. It's created an e-commerce glossary with 12 essential terms. Gives us a nice overview of what it's created. So let's take a look back in open metadata and we'll see how this automates the process of creating the glossary terms based on business use cases. And look at that, we've got 11 glossaries in here for e-commerce, conversion rate, drop shipping, return on ad spend. This is pretty great, this just took a few seconds. But we can get a little fancier. We've got this prompt and I'm gonna ask it to add the glossary terms from this website that has a glossary of e-commerce terminology and add those terms to our e-commerce glossary. And now we see we've got a whole bunch more details from that source. Take a look in open metadata real quick. So the glossaries, those have increased. We see we have more glossaries. Let's take a look at that e-commerce glossary for some of the fields that have been added. We've got A-B testing, average, bounce rate, bundling, churn rate, all e-commerce terms. So what this illustrates is how you can use pretty much anything as a source to enhance your glossary. Could be a CSV that you upload, another URL, some other format. This will help you automate the process of building that glossary and terms in open metadata, collate, that can be later used for a function like tagging assets all part of simplifying your data governance process. Open metadata.